going to start the export DXF tool here and uh, it will find all the sheet metal parts in the assembly give me a summary table here um, of the quantities I can choose the export location browse for a folder if I want um, choose the file naming system so at the moment I'm naming it part number and then the quantity and then DXF um, I can specify anything I want for that with properties and free text I can add text inside the DXF so at the moment I'm adding loads of information as text inside the DXF um, and that's all configurable as well layer settings you can choose the colors and visibilities of all these different and line types as well of all these different layers uh, that are available um, and my geometry I can use my standard DXF export options and one of my favorite options in here is the ability to merge the files either by the part number I property or by file name and if I toggle between these if you look down here this will affect the quantity of the DXF files that we're exporting depending on how we merge them and also if you look down here again we can choose to exclude or include invisible or inventor reference components as well uh, any suppressed components won't be included in the export so it will handle custom level of detail in here as well um, another thing I didn't mention when we're adding text inside the DXF we can choose where that wants to be located at the moment we're putting text in the bottom left and we're actually scaling it 100th the size of the diagonal across the DXF or we can fix size so 8 point text for instance um, and if we hit export we get the chance to see a list of files otherwise we'll, we'll just hit no to proceed and it's going to take a while to do the first export because that one actually can't be flat patterned so it has a few cracks at flat patterning it but now it's getting going with the other files which are genuine sheet metal files you can see one files failed which will give us a chance to have a look at afterwards um, so let's just wait till it finishes you can see it's nice and fast I will open the export folder um, I'll just pick one of these files to, to open in AutoCAD um, and while we're doing that let's just view the log file so you can see this first file flat pattern operation failed so uh, if I want to interrogate that I can just right click on the one that's highlighted here and open the part and exit um, and I can see quite clearly quite quickly why this won't flat pattern it's got too much going on too many sheet metal bits in one part so I'd have to interrogate that and fix that one but uh, let's go back to AutoCAD here's one of the DXFs we exported you can see the layer names in here that's a bend up layer that's the outer profile and here's the DXF text in here so we can see the quantity and some of the other properties that are in here as well um, okay I think that's about all we need to say on that tool Hope you find that one useful.